guys, so we are leaving Paris tonight. So we got to Charles de Gaulle Airport. I've got about an hour before we have to go to our gate. Of course, at Charles de Gaulle, there are so many luxury stores. So while I have a little bit of time, I thought I'll just shop around, see what else I can find. I know my Paris city shopping was very successful. But of course, I have to look until the last minute. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me and let's have a look. Avalon on the window in the black Noah. This is really cute little cloud. So it looks like our first stop is going to be a mess. Beautiful scarves. Enter and see. These colors always make me feel so happy. They're so bright and happy. Ooh, never seen such a big tote bag from Hermes before. And this has become very popular in the recent years. The travel sort of pouches. Got some orange. Got a lot of SLGs. All the prices shown, which is very handy actually. These little clean are quite cute. These bedrooms are very cute. As you saw, there's really not that much of an interesting stop at Hermes. Nothing we have not seen before. So I'm gonna head to the next stop. My new obsession, Dior. Ooh. I know I said I probably don't need a book toad, but every time I see a book toad, it still makes me feel a little bit happy, so never say never. The prices are so good in France. I guess this is my last chance to maybe get one. We'll see. Airport boutique has different stock again. Look how beautiful that Python Lady Dior is with all the colorings. These wallet on chains are actually quite well priced for today's standards. Oh my goodness, my love affair with this new color. It's like a pistachio color, even better in this lizard. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. What do I do? I already found my perfect Lady Dior. And it even goes with my outfit at the moment. Diamond black is beautiful. don't have much space in my luggage for shoes. But I do love these sling bags. They're kind of vintage. Why do I suddenly like these DJ bags? Obviously, I am now totally obsessed with the DJs. The white is super pretty. And I just know that this creamy white will go with everything. Look, 
It's a diamond black. Very modern. Very chic. Yes. Same style, kind of. This is really chic. Me neither. But it's really growing on me. Yeah. Yes, long and it's more trendy, more modern. Yes, very comfortable. Is this easy to maintain? Do you have to be a little bit careful? Mm. This is editing me. So many of you reached out to me to let me know in my previous Lady Dior unboxing video that this diamond motif finish has so many peeling issues, especially in the black. Apparently, the tips of the diamonds peel very quickly, exposing the white color underneath. So I'm glad that I didn't get a diamond motif bag in hindsight. I'm still loving the DJs though, so I guess I will probably stick with the regular lambskin versions. Some uh, cases, so we always Okay, still so obsessed with the Dijoy, um, but I already splurged on a Lady Dior, so I'm thinking about it. <sighs> anyway, let's go to Chanel. Okay, those gum boots again. Hold on chain, 19 styles, very cute. Got some 22 bags. Then this down the bottom. Ooh, full tweed set. Very nice. your bag has been on and off my wish list for a while now these bags have a certain sharpness and shakeness to them that draws me into them i think i love this caramel color this color is a new mm. the sector your didn't come in that green did it that green i see everywhere no 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 oh it was there okay one size up has a divider Nice, your nice day bag. Mm. Yeah, nice yeah, same size. No, it's a little bit. This is yeah. baby. Yes. Okay. Ah, same smooth leather. Yes, same. Okay. I'm trying. Black's very chic. Yes. This is blush color too. course we had to check out some watches as well Great. 
It's elegant. Mm, it's actually quite elegant. This one it does look really nice. It looks really small. Yeah. Alright guys, that was a very, very short shopping vlog because I didn't realize one hour was just not that long. So obviously as you saw, there's really not that much of Chanel that caught my eye, but it was really nice to see Saint Laurent after a long time. I still really love the Sec de Jour bags. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for that. Anyway, now we really, really need to get to the gate. I hope you still enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video when we're back in Sydney. Bye guys.